Okay, I think I'm all done. Time to pay. Oh, oh I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I didn't, I didn't see, see you, you there. there. No worries. Hey, you seem familiar. I am? Yes, you're Isabella Gonzalez from The Dish Girls, if I'm not wrong. I've seen you a lot on YouTube. Al, yes, I know who you are as well. You're Jack the Binder 2005, if I'm not wrong. That is correct. I'm new to Beyond City. Nice. Allow me to introduce you to my boyfriend and my best friend. Hey there. I'm Juan, and I'm Isabella's boyfriend. And I'm Raven Fernandez. In many people's series, I am a troublemaker, but an animator made an ungrounded series out of me. I see you've met the nice version of me. Yes. In many people's series, Raven is never leaving me alone and constantly harassing me to be his girlfriend, but can't accept the fact that I am taken by Juan. But in Nanimator's series, he's learned his lesson and accepted that that Juan is my boyfriend. Instead, Raven is mine and Juan's best friend. That's interesting to know. Hey, you seem like a nice chap. And me, Isabella, and Raven are going out to McDonald's later for some dinner. Do you care to join us? Sure, I have no plans this evening, and I could do with a McDonald's. Good. In that case, we'll see you later. Have a nice rest of your day. I said I wanted a Big Mac meal, not chicken nuggets. Get me a Big Mac at once. Oh 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 Archie, how dare you speak to me like this? You are still grounded, so you get what you're given. You can either get chicken nuggets or nothing at all. Excuse me, but because of your son's behavior, I am going to have to ask you to leave this McDonald's. You are barred for three weeks. And if you step foot on this premises again, you will be given a $400 fine and I will call the police. Come on Archie, we are going home right now. No. That's it, I'm dragging your ass home right now. No 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 wa 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 Hi, and welcome to McDonald's. How may I take your order? Hi, I would like a large Big Mac meal with a chocolate milkshake. And I would like a 20-piece chicken McNugget meal, medium fries, and a large Fanta. And I would like a large double cheeseburger meal with a Diet Coke. And for me, I will have a medium muck chicken sandwich meal with a Sprite. Okay, that will be $28.96 please. Here you are. Thanks. Your order will be ready shortly. Well, it was very nice of you to join us. Anytime. Hey, I was thinking about going camping next week at the Vyond County Camping Park. You know, that sounds like a good idea. I have to agree with Isa. Same here. Alright, I'll get that booked for next weekend. Sounds good. Dylan and Jill, could you both come downstairs please? What is it, Dad? Your mother and I have booked a weekend for all of us at the Vion County Camping Park for next weekend. We thought that it would be nice for all of us to go out someplace nice rather than cooped up in this house all of the time. But Dad, I don't want to go. Well Dylan, that's just too bad. You are going whether you like it or not. And if you don't like it, then you will have to suck it up. Shut up mom, I didn't ask for your opinion. Hey, don't you have that attitude young man. If you don't stop speaking to us like that, then I will send you to your room and your grounding will be extended. After you smoked in class, your behavior has been getting a even more appalling than usual. Shut up you dumb ass. Leave me alone. I'm not going, and that's final. That's it. How dare you speak to your mom like that? Go to your room right now, and you're grounded until we go away next weekend.
and don't cry like a baby, or I will turn you into one. All right, fine. Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to spend time with all of you. Same here. I can't wait to go camping. I agree with both of you. This is gonna be so enjoyable. And I agree with what all of you are saying. It will be nice to go camping again. Say, have you been camping before, Jack? Yes, I was with my family back in the UK last May and June. It was enjoyable, but there were issues with capacity in the tent and it didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. Oh dear. Well, hopefully it works out better this time. Yeah. Man, after all of that work setting the tent up, I'm pretty hot. Should we go and get ice cream? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Ugh, I wish that these two morons would hurry up. They've been here for five minutes already. You? G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R What the Why are you here with Isabella, Juan, and Raven? Those three jerks kicked me out of a party a few months ago. Hey, leave me alone. It's my choice on who I wish to hang out with, and if you don't like it, then too bad. Move out of the way, kids. Get me a banana split ice cream right now. No, I refuse to serve you. Seeing as you had the audacity to attack my customers, get off of this ice cream stand, right freaking now. You better give me one right now you fat pig. I said, get off of this stand right now. If you don't, I will call security. I want my mommy and daddy and daddy. Help, 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 help. Look what you just did. You've just hurt two innocent boys over a goddamn ice cream. And you knocked over the stand, which means that none of us are able to get any ice cream anymore. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's it. You're in for a serious punishment when your parents find out about what you just did, maniac. Hey, what's going on here? Oh my god. What have you just done, Dylan? Your son just had the audacity to throw a tantrum over some ice cream. He saw Jack and his friends, including me, lining up for some ice cream, whilst waiting for two young boys ordering their ice cream. He then shoved them, injuring them badly, before shoving us to the ground and then demanding to get some ice cream. When the server refused to serve him, he pushed over the ice cream stand. What? Dylan Antonio Dawson, how dare you do all of the affirmative? That's it. This is your first of three strikes. Two more, and you'll be grounded. Follow me right now. Wow, that was amazing. Wow, Raven, that was pretty good. This is quite a nice sunset, wouldn't you all agree? Yes, Juan. I couldn't agree with you more. This is such an enjoyable sunset to watch whilst in this swimming pool. Same here. This is quite a scene. What better way to end the day than chilling out in the pool and watching the sun go down? What else could possibly go wrong on this fine evening? Hopefully, nothing at all.
What? No, 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 no. Why can't I get the damn pool to myself for once? G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Dylan, you'd better go away right now. You're disturbing the peace. I agree. Get lost, you're disturbing us. I agree. Leave us alone, you weasel minded freak. You have no business disturbing us right now. Scram. If you don't, I'll make you listen to all of my music albums for 10 hours straight. Lol, lol, lol. No way, Jose. I won't go away. This is my pool, not yours. Why don't you four go away? You'd better go away right now or I'll tell your parents. Oh yes. I'll throw water all over you if you don't scram. You'd better not. I've had enough of your crap. You and your flying scumbag friends have thrown enough water at people. First, you and those scumbags threw water over Bud, Enrique, Caillou, Callum and Santiago, also known as the Bex Boys, then you poured water all over Mrs. Ramirez, then pouring water on several Vinders, including Vance Productions, David the Animator 2K5, and Nanimator. That's three times. Don't make it a fourth. Don't even dare, or you'll be sorry. I don't give a crap about that. Me and my gang are allowed to throw water on people whenever we want. And I don't care doing it on my own this time. Oh yay, you wanna bet? Without a doubt. Enjoy the extra water, punks. <laughs> Serves you all right for being a bunch of jerks. That's it. We are getting dressed, and we are telling your parents about what you just did. Be prepared to get another strike for what you did, little brat. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R and Raven, all because he wanted to be in the pool but we were there first. Oh man. This again. This is the fourth time he's poured water all over someone. First he did it to the Bex Boys, then Mrs. Ramirez, then Vance Productions, David the Animator 2K5, and Nanamota, and now, you. I will deal with that brat, as soon as he gets back over here. Alright, thank you. And you can wipe that obnoxious grin off your face, Dylan, right, freaking, now. Crap. I'm done for. You seriously think that pouring water all over people is acceptable? Well, think again. This is the umpteenth time you've done this now. First, you and the rest of the flying scumbags poured water all over Bud, Enric, Caillou, Callum, and Santiago, also known as the Bex Boys. Then, you lot also poured water all over your principal, Mrs. Ramirez. After, you then had the effrontery to pour water all over Vance Productions, David the Animator 2K5, and Nanimator. And now, you just poured water all over Juan, Isabella, Jack, and Raven. I've seriously had enough of this bullcrap water pouring. Strike two. One more and you're grounded. Get into the tent right now. All right, now that we've had breakfast, I think we should take a walk in the forest. What do you guys say? That sounds like a good idea, Raven. 
I agree with Isabella. Same here. Great. Okay, let's get going then. This is really nice scenery. I'm going to get some pictures. Alright then Dylan, me, your mother, and your sister are going to the toilet. Please wait here, and remember to behave. Alright. Perfect. Now that my parents and Jill have gone to the restroom, I'm going to release this bear out and scare everyone in the forest. This will just be like the time when Blaze let a bear into her home, and it destroyed her sister's rooms and slept on one of them. Eek, a bear. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 the bear is catching up. We better get the hell out of here before that bear decides to attack us. The hell is going on with this stupid bear? Who the hell could have been stupid enough to have let a bear run free? Let's just get in the car, it's a good thing that everything is packed inside the car. Run as fast as you can, now, 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 now. So from what I've seen on Facebook, Raven and his friends seem to be having a nice time at the campsite. That's good to know. Say, do you think we should go to the campsite over the summer? That sounds like a good idea. What do you think, Ricardo? That sounds like a good idea, Mom. That's good. Raven, what is going on? Why are you and your friends home so early? Well... We were out walking in the woods, and then suddenly, a bear came running towards us, so we decided to run for it, and we got in the car as soon as we could and it escaped. Oh my god! That sounds awful. But who could have released it? Well, Dylan Dawson was on the campsite as well, and we caused some serious trouble at the park yesterday. He shoved two boys who were ordering some ice cream, and then shoved us and then kicked over the ice cream stand. He then poured water all over us whilst we were in the pool. So, if I'm not mistaken, it was. That's it. I'm calling his parents, right, freaking, now. How dare he do that? That was bang out of order. Oh, 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 what a freaking dumbfus. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Hello. Hello, this is Philip Dawson speaking. Who's this and how can I help you? Hey Philip, I'm Mr. Fernandez, Raven's father. Him and his friends have just told me something that your son has just done. Is it something to do with the ice cream or the water pouring? They did tell us about that all right. Did you know about the bear that was released? Yes, in fact, we also had to leave because of that. Well, they found out that it was Dylan who released the bear out. He did what? Oh my god. Thank you for telling me. I will ground him as soon as I'm off the phone. See you later. See you later. Philip, what's going on? You know the bear that was running around the park? Well, it was Dylan who released it. What? G -r, 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 r I can't believe that. Dylan is in so much trouble for this. What a complete jerk. Why would be so crazy as to do all that? G -r 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 Dylan 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 Dylan
You're in very, 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 very deep, 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 deep trouble. Antonio Dawson, I can't fucking believe your behavior at the campsite. It was simply and totally unacceptable. First, you got angry at two young boys because they were taking a while at the ice cream stand. You shot them, and then shot Jack, Isabella, Juan, and Raven, all because they were hanging out with each other, and had a nasty attitude towards the server after she refused to serve you because of your treatment. You then had the audacity to push over the ice cream stand. You then had the fucking nerve to pour water all over the same people all because they were in the pool that you wanted to be in. Not only that, you weren't even supposed to be at the goddamn pool because we told you not to. You were only permitted to go for a walk, and a walk, only. This is the fourth time you've poured water all over people. First, you do it to Bud, Inwick, Caillou, Callum, and Santiago, also known as the Bex Noise, and then your principal, then David the Animator 2K5, Vance Productions, and Animator. And now, this. At least this time, it wasn't with the flying scumbags. And finally, you let it go whilst we three went to the bathroom, causing it to wreak havoc across the site. It then ended up chasing Jack, Juan, Isabella, and Raven, and they had to leave the campsite early, and we ended up leaving early also, as they had to evacuate the park. You know full well that bears are incredibly dangerous animals, and you should never, ever, 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 mess with a wild animal, no matter how tame they look. Be thankful that no one was injured from what you did. You're really an idiot sometimes, as in, your decisions are flipping stupid. When will you ever learn from your childish, selfish, criminal, and dangerous behavior young man? I don't know what has gotten into you, especially over the past year. You've really crossed the line this time, and me and your father simply do not know how to handle your bullcrap behavior anymore. And now you see why we have conflicting views on disciplining you. But this time... I am siding with your father with whatever punishment is coming your way. No more Mrs. Nice Mommy Lou Malikadil's Dylan Dawson anymore. Nope. You need to learn how to control your behavior, you deranged, selfish, brat. I don't think that you'll ever live up to my standards Dylan, you big jerk. Even I'm younger than you, and I don't act up to be as childish as you. Why are you such a big brat? Why? 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 Just, just, why 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 why? You're 16 years old, and yet you still act like you're a freaking 6 year old. You never learn, do you? Well you'd better learn someday, you really do. You're freaking deluded as heck, as well as those flying scumbags. You can't go a single day or trip without causing some form of trouble, and that is going to change, trust me. Don't even think I'm joking, jerk face. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded until the end of the 2021 to 2022 school year. And while you are grounded, let me remind you that you'll be eating absolutely nothing. And I mean that you will be eating absolutely freaking nothing. Zilch, but lumpy potatoes, gruel, more vegetables, and rotten food for every meal you had, including dessert. Go to your room right now. I said go to your room. Right. Freaking. Now. Now now now. La Dylan Antonio Dawson, I am getting fed up of saying this. If you don't stop crying like a motor car, I will turn you into one with the help of Vion Logic, and I will get you sold on the Vion prices right. Don't think I'm kidding. This is your last warning. Alright, fine. It hurts my voice box every time I do it anyway, so I will be more than happy to stop crying in the Ludovico voice. Instead, wa a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a But don't start crying like a baby, or I will turn you into one, and you will be humiliated. 